We're gonna make a uh, lobster stuffed potato, double stuffed, like, like a big potato that's uh -huh. cooked twice. Awesome. And we're gonna uh, stuff it with lobster Great. and uh, all these beautiful flavors. Love it. So let's start this up. All right. So after you've taken your lobsters apart, there's the tamale and then there's the roe. So uh -huh. only the female lobsters have the roe. And I just want you to take a, a, a look at this. So all right. It's the dark green, it's the, it's the Yeah, eggs. the roe's gross. Roe's gross to me. Is that no, like a no, thing no, you no. eat the roe? You can eat the roe. And what happens is you see how green it is right pa now? Pardon uh -oh, my ignorance. Pardon. What's the it, roe? It's the eggs. eggs. Oh, the eggs. The eggs lobster of eggs. The lobster yeah. eggs, exactly. It's like the lobster caviar. Yeah. It, it looks like hummus, it makes it much, but not as delicious. It makes it much nicer <laughs> if you call it caviar. Yeah. So you buzz that up, and you see how it's... So I'm making a lobster roe butter, which okay. when this butter hits the heat, it turns red immediately. Oh. Because, uh, you know, when you cook a lobster, all of a sudden when you boil the lobster, it turns red. Well, the uh -huh. roe does the exact same thing. So it's going to have that nice flavor. So we've diced up a little bit of the lobster. Uh -huh. and you're going to cook your lobsters. And lobster tails and lobster claws, I cook them separately. Or actually, I put the tails in first, and then three or four minutes later, uh -huh. I throw the claws in. Because the claws cook in less time. Okay. okay. You don't want to overcook the lobster. You want right. to get it all. You get rubber. You get right. rubber, exactly. So we've cooked that. We've diced it up. I've got a little bit of butter that I've heated up. Uh -huh. And I've put a rosemary in there. You want to bloom the rosemary. Love rosemary. Rosemary is a hard herb that you want to sort of open up the flavors. So uh -huh. I want it to cook it a little bit in the butter. And then I've got some uh, some scallions here we're going to throw in there as well. And I'm very happy. Look at this big spatula. Remember last time I was here? Oh, well, we know that, you know. Heavy like a little baby. You're secure know, with your manhood. I know, and I've gotten so many comments about it. <laughs> you amazing. have. I have a tiny I have, spatula. I have. I put a little salt and pepper in there. So what I've done is I've taken my potatoes, and obviously uh -huh. since we're on TV, we've done this ahead of time. Yeah. Uh -huh. We've baked the potatoes about 400 degrees for about 45 minutes, depending okay. on the size of your potato. So you bake the potato, and then you scoop out the inside, and you're going to put it into the bowl. Uh -huh. And now I'm going to take this butter, which I've got my rosemary and my scallions in there, dump that in there. We're going to take a little bit of it with the uh, lobster butter, which is going to turn red, as I said, once these cook. Uh-huh. And um, we're going to put a little bit of the Gruyere cheese, which I love. Gruyere cheese is basically, uh, it's an Emmental. Uh-huh. So it's like a... Um, What's an Emmental? Swiss cheese. All, all Swiss cheeses are Emmentals. Yeah. I'm going to put a little... This is creme fraiche. I know okay. that sounds fancy, but you could also use sour cream. Okay. Creme fraiche in here as well and then it it's it's a little bit it's a little tight so i could put a little heavy cream in here okay. just to loosen it up a bit so it's healthy yeah oh no no this is great this is like you know yeah very very healthy carbs and huh little carbs yeah. little loading it this up is the glutton we're gonna right we can't forget the lobster which is the name right. of the dish so can you toss that lobster okay. sure look at this this is looking pretty good everybody yeah. happy with this so it's far awesome man Yes. All right, everybody good? Yes, sir. All right, so now that you want to okay. make sure all of those flavors are nice and mixed in, and then you're going to take this. I thought you were going to scoop it into your mouth. No, no, no. You want to cook it first, you know? <laughs> this isn't cooked yet. Oh, okay. So then you want to take this and okay. stuff your potatoes. So this uh -huh. is why it's lobster potatoes cooked twice. Right. And then on the top, we're going to just, we're going to put a little bit more of that cheese, and then we're going to bake them in the oven again. For how long? Oh, until they get nice and cooked all the way through. Yeah. Probably like 15, 20 minutes. Awesome. I'm sure the recipe's in my book somewhere, and there's like a real determination. Of, you know, when you write a recipe, when you write a cookbook, you got to have it all specific. Yeah, man. And then when, of course, we're cooking at home, you kind of right. go in there, you, you poke at it. Yes, to me. Like, ah, it looks that. like it's cooked. <laughs> right. Let's take one out and try it, and right. then it's ready or not, right? Looks good to me. We're going to put a little bit of this on top. All right. You can tell you've worked in many kitchens. Look how fast you're going right now. Yeah. No. Well, I want to... Make sure we get to the actual product that's down here it. on the end because right. I want you guys to be able to Ooh, eat this. Beautiful. Here, come on beautiful. over. That bakes up, boom. All yeah, right. Okay, cool. Look at that. So yes. when, when they're baked up, I mean, look how beautiful that is over there. <laughs> Thank you. So wait, what's the proper way to eat this? This is your, you have to dictate. Well, I mean, it's 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 a bit of a, you, you know. You go for it, you just look go. At that. Can so you, you, when it's warm and cooked you... all the way through, look at that, yeah. it's nice and soft. You can beautiful. go right through there. Mm. Mm. How is that? That's really good, yeah. That's awesome. Mm.